Oh shit, what's happening? I don't know, we'll just sort of jam. Ah, bugger. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Oversized load. Jeez. Thirty miles to go. To Memphis. We're I'm an intermittent music connection, so Andy's yeah. filling in the gaps. <laughs> Radio Andy, here all night. <laughs> Uh, Coming into Memphis. So up, up the hill. <laughs> so we're now in Memphis. This is the car park of Graceland. Patik is um, sleeping off last night. Last night? Giving me eight o'clock this morning is pissing. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, he's going to be feeling rather rough today. Well, we were hitting bumps in the road and he was going, shut up, shut up, in the back. <laughs> Apparently, we can tell him, we can tell our ears to shut up. <laughs> oh, poor guy. Oh, God. I hope he has the hangover from hell. I do hope. <laughs> Oh. This is Andy's version of hell. <laughs> Not quite hell, the music's good. Yeah. You know, it's just that was a realisation that he didn't write any music himself. He was just a he was just a boy band on his own. Yeah. It's the same as Take That. I was wrong with Take That. I start with what's right. <laughs> It'd be easier. Shave dice. <laughs> So, to actually go on the tour that involves the mansion is actually $80. And considering Andy isn't the biggest fan, <laughs> and I'm thinking, well, just to have that's probably a bit much just to see a place at the end of the day. So, um, well, there, there is the mansion. So, at least we can video it, take a couple of pictures. There is Graceland. It's red. <laughs> so all these people putting all all the name. Forty seventy seven Elvis. You can actually read it through all the graffiti that there is Graceland. And there is Graceland. I decided not to go on the tour. Eighty dollars is a bit steep. Well, you can see bits of the building, the extensions over there. 
and this is the actual merchandise different areas apparently there's 10 different buildings you can visit the top price was it was 140 dollars if you want to visit everything 50 dollars just to see his planes and cars and then 80 dollars if you want to go into the mansion and then various other prices above that Wasteland. Just didn't go inside it. Because of Elvis, December is no more. Oh, some quite cool things in here. So we're now going to be crossing the Mississippi. Ah, weird. That's downtown Memphis. We go later and no, that's just an inlet. That's not the Mississippi. That is over there. Mississippi River. In half a mile, continue straight. Wow, it's big, isn't it? In Arkansas. Okay. Although I haven't seen a, a state sign yet. Okay. Ah, first cotton field I've seen. Now we know we were in the south. <laughs> So that's where the white cotton is. Where, where is like the blue cotton field, green cotton field, yellow no. cotton field, red cotton field? And there must be somewhere else. Parts of the state. Yeah, must be. And what about stripey? We are now at KOA Memphis, or Memphis West, as it's strictly called. Because it's 22 miles from Memphis, but we just checked, and it looks like we can get an Uber for $15. 21 miles for 22 miles. Amazing. So this is where we are. There is the van. There's a, a murky creek which looks very insecty, so I am avoiding that. And yeah, there's the rest of the RV park. Sun setting. So we're a bit late to do any of the museums, unfortunately, in Memphis, but um, it's more for the nightlife. Although I think particularly taking it gently tonight. There is the Mississippi. Nice. Downtown 
Memphis. That's the borderline. Tennessee welcomes you. So the middle of the river is the border. If you go just a minute on south, you reach another state, Mississippi. Ah. That's the big building state. That's a St. Jude Cancer Research Hospital for children. They never send no bill. Any the kids come all around the world here for the treatment. Oh gosh. Yeah. yeah. This is the most uh, advanced cancer research hospital. Gosh. Even though they are paying their parents here, ticket, food, everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we'll wait for the next one. So here we are, Memphis. So this is Beale Street. Look out. Hello. What are we doing? I don't know. Yeah, I love this. Hey. Yeah. All these are all the fish tonight. So we managed to get a table outside. Unfortunately, Patik's still with us <laughs> after, after Nashville. Patik's awfully big adventure in Nashville. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it was an experience. Yeah. It was eye opening and eye watering all the same time. <laughs> Never mind, he's, he's back in the land of the living. Oh, pretty good <laughs> Tonight has um, taken another turn in, in the holiday. So, um, okay. So we get we get back from Memphis, and Andy goes, "Where are my keys?" Because he had the keys for the RV, and it was like shit. He hasn't got the keys. Okay. And I go, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll call the um, taxi. And I go, where's my phone? So, cut the long story short, the keys are missing to the RV, and my phone's missing. So I'm not quite sure what's happening now. So, phone the RV place with the other guys, because obviously my phone's missing. And they said, right, well, we can, we'll be there hopefully in an hour or two to stick in a hotel for the night and then get your keys tomorrow. But I was missing my phone, which I'm rather perturbed about, so let's see what happens. 
Well, it's a bit of an ass. We have no tick. We have no keys for the RV. My phone has gone missing. But I have found the rocking chair. Yeah. So, little nice gentle little rock. Hopefully, it helps a little bit. That's all you can do. Well, the ironic thing is, I have my GoPro, so I can film this. So I have my GoPro, I have my wallet, and I have my um, battery charger and the other thing. But not my phone. So three things I have, which leads us to believe that it probably just fell out and it's not actually been stolen. But that still doesn't explain the um, keys that Andy has now be so sort of like shit. So at first we thought, have we been doubly nicked? I don't know. So yeah, anyway. So it's um, a quarter to, quarter to two now. And we still do in contact with us. Obviously not me because I don't have a phone. Which is annoying because I've booked everything and my phone never doesn't work, so we're trying to put that then. Ah, oh, shit. So they're having to sleep and I'd rather just have a walk around because of stress. Uh, yeah, so I'm to so. I'll turn off because it's really a bit of power. Left. 